One, two, one, two. <laughs> 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 uh, what's up james how you doing how's it feel being in sioux falls south dakota fight week i've been in better places but it feels good to be here <laughs> uh it's been about a year and a half since we saw you last set foot in the bellator cage are we going to see a completely different and new and improved james gallagher come friday night nah you're gonna see the same old fucking me step right back in there man the same old me so it is with a lot of new skills and uh it's going to be a fun night, fun night. Look forward to going and having a scrap, you know what I mean? Well, not a scrap, but just to get in there and fight somebody. Do you know what I mean? And I'm glad this fella brings a fight, and <clears throat> we'll see who's left at the end. Mm -hmm. Every fighter says there's no feeling that can replicate what it's like to be in that cage, fighting in front of thousands in attendance and viewers from around the world. What do you imagine it would feel like if you were to get your hand raised on Friday night? I know you've won fights, of course, in the past, but with the time off and everything, you'd feel like this one might feel, getting that winning feeling again might feel even better. Yeah, absolutely. But for me, it's all about the performance. Do you know what I mean? And I'm coming in here as a cold martial artist in here to do my skills. And absolutely, it's going to be, oh, I'm going to be overwhelmed when I, when I get that win. But it's about the performance for me. It's about coming in here and shining, <clears throat> putting all my skills on the line and and showing off my work. Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? That's that's the main part. It's not to come in here and get a quick win just to get my hand raised. That's the that's the bonus of my hard work. And I'm looking forward to showcasing isn't it? Definitely. Uh you're set to fight the Alley Cat, James Gonzalez. Most people feel that his 10 and 6 professional record doesn't tell the story when it comes to his improved skills and his toughness. What do you know about Gonzalez and what do you think makes him a good stylistic matchup for yourself? Yeah, I'd say that's right. I'd say that he doesn't get enough credit for how good he is, but uh it's just the way this game goes, bro. Do you know what I mean? And I don't know, but I don't give a fuck about him, but I ain't in this for credit. Do you know what I mean? I don't give a fuck what anyone thinks. I know what's what. I know how good he is. I know how good I am. And uh, I know what sets me a rest from the, the pack. Do you know what I mean? And that's what we're going to see on Friday night. What separates me from these guys? What's What what, what makes me different? And uh, yeah, you got to tune in Friday night. You'll see it. Hey, James. Patrick Dana from Combat Sports UK. How you doing? I'm doing good, bro. Good. Love to hear it. So you're coming off a near two-year layoff. What were some of the biggest struggles you faced on your comeback to the cage? Just getting three injuries, do you know what I mean? And that 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 was mainly it. But no, there wasn't struggles. Do you know what I mean? I fucking love this game. <laughs> it's not like, do you know what I mean? I'm. Uh, it's a struggle to be off. Do you know what I mean? There's no struggles in the game. It's uh, when you're in the game, and you're fully emerged, and you're in training. There's no struggle. Do you know what I mean? It's smooth sailing from there. It's and that's just battling them little injuries so you can get back in. Do you know what I mean? That that's that's the challenging part, but. Once you're in the game, it's fucking. There's there's no no struggles. All fucking. I'm, I'm in my element. You know what I mean? What what looks to be like a struggle. What looks to be hard work. What looks to be grilling the grind and all those bollocks is that that's where I thrive. That's where I'm having fun. Do you know what I mean? That's where that's where I'm me. Do you know what I mean? That that's where I ain't fucking like sitting up here doing speaking and not, I'm not like not that I'm against it, but it's kind of like I just want to be in the gym training, learning martial arts, and want to be in fighting people. And uh, and it's something that's probably came back to me after that two year loss was the realizations of just how much of a pure fighter that I am. Do you know what I mean? When I was 13 years old, running into some Pat's Hall and Straban, fucking coming in, flexing on people, just wanting to fight people, fighting men in their 20s when I was a young kid. Do you know what I mean? I didn't give a fuck about who watched me, who cared about this. I was coming here to show who what I'm made of. And Saturday, Friday night, I show who the strip animal is, do you know what I mean? And <clears throat> remind everyone of those days, do you know what I mean? And remind them of what I'm made of. Can't wait. So you were scheduled to fight Leandro Higo earlier this year. Both of you fight on this card. Is that something you're still interested in? And have you seen him at all this week? I don't give a fuck who I fight next, bro. Do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm not going down to 135 to fight him. He doesn't even make weight half the time for 135. So if he wants, he can come up and I'll fight. Any fucking one of them. Don't give a fuck. Do you know what I mean? Whoever <clears throat> win a win on Friday night, I'll be texting Bellator on Saturday morning going, who's next? And whoever they say send back, that's who's next. You know what I mean? Let's, let's get this show on the road. Love it. So for your former opponent, Patchy Mix, won the interim belt, and mm -hmm. now he's going to be fighting Sergio Pettis soon. What do you think about that fight? How do you think he fared? I think it's a great fight. I think, I think Patchy beats him. 
So I do think Pat should become the world champion. So I do think he uh, keeps him long in the feet. Don't think Pat is some serious striking, you know what I mean? Definitely. But I think he'll be too scared of Patchy's long shots to kind of let loose. And then when he does let loose, I think Patchy will grab a hold of him and tie him up. Do you know what I mean? And I think that's that's one. But then again, is if he wants to fight at a weight class that he can make, he can come back up and fight me at 145. He couldn't make it the last time. Do you know what I mean? So there's another fight in the card. So there we've got two already. <laughs> you should get a job for Bellator matchmaking. <laughs> What's up, James? Dylan Napoleon with New England MMA here. Glad to see you back. I think it's going to be a great week. Um, after coming off this layoff, is there a little bit of a sense of urgency or do you feel as though you need ha you have something to prove in this fight? No, nah, not at all. Probably less urgency than usual, to be honest. Because the time off the game is like, it's made me realize like, I'm in no rush, do you know what I mean? I'm in no urgency to go in here and just get a quick finish, a quick win. To do anything that, you know what I mean? I'm no urgency at all to do this, only to keep composed and do what I do and fight. Because when I do that, I steal the show every time. I get all the attention in the media. I get all that anyway when I just do that. Do you know what I mean? So I don't have any urgency to do anything else other than go in there and fight, have fun, enjoy it, and show off what I'm fucking made of. I like that answer. Uh, now that you're back in action, do you plan to stay active and be pretty active throughout the next couple of years? Fucking right, mate. Get me in there next. I'll go, I'll go again in two, three weeks. Do you know what I mean? And I can make 145. It's not an easy cut, but I can make it a lot sooner than I can make 35. 35, I need 12. We camp. I need all this. This is where for 45, I don't really need that because i'm always in that kind of shape that i can make 45 within three four weeks notice you know what i mean so i'm i'm ready to go if i'm fresh after thing and i don't break my hand again then yeah let's go and last one for me chris or i'm sorry james you were uh, originally scheduled to fight chris lencioni in this mm -hmm. at this fight um unfortunately super unfortunate news on that uh, out of uh, lencioni's camp there with his medical issues, what was your immediate reaction when you heard about the news? I know it was super sad for a lot of the MMA community. Yeah, but fuck what I, with that. It's like, do you see him? He's back on his feet. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's like fucking delighted for that man. Just I seen that there at the start of this fight week. And it was a good boost for me to come in and see that he's back on the mend and back. You see him running up hills fucking. And, and, and do you know what I mean? So just to see that recovery, do you know what I mean? And, and not dwelling on the negative and just to see that positive that he's able to look at the hard work that that fella's put in these last few weeks, do you know what I mean? To get to that point from being in a, a, in a coma, a cardiac arrest, a coma, to, to be able to run up a hill, do you know what I mean? And then we're all here, you know what I mean? Got weight to make, fucking complaining about it, injuries, complaining about that. We don't got no problems, mate. Do you know what I mean? I don't, I don't got no problems compared to that. Do you know what I mean? So that's that's what I look at. So that's that's where I take inspiration from, and uh, I I take a lot of inspiration from seeing him get back on his feet and showing that there's no matter what happens to you, no matter what, there's nobody can fuck with you because you can always get back on your feet, and that's what he showed. <clears throat> hey James, so uh, obviously you're very happy to be moving up to 145. Just talk to me, just how camp has been different. Um, you know, obviously the weight cut, you said it's not always easy, but what's it like being at 145 for this fight? Yeah, it's a lot nicer. So it is a lot, lot better. It's like I'm fueled for training. Do you know what I mean? So I'm actually going to train to be fueled and perform. And after training, focus on recovery and able to eat a bit more. Do you know what I mean? Not, not much, but a little bit. Do you know what I mean? I'm still, I'm still big for fucking 145. I've still got a lot of weight to shift by tomorrow. Do you know what I mean? So it's no easy task, and uh, yeah, but I'm a lot, I'm a lot happier. It's a lot, it's a lot easier of a ten. It's a lot more straightforward. I wouldn't say easier, but it's more, a lot more straightforward of a training camp. I know you were asked earlier about urgency after having such a long layoff to get back in there, and you're more focused on showcasing all your hard work, all your skills. But I, I've been following your career for quite some time, and. I know you want to send a message not only just to yourself but to the world and now this division mm. what is your message to 145 they'll soon see on friday night do you know what i mean i don't need to tell them i don't need to say anything i don't need to do anything i gotta show up and fucking fight and that message will soon spread across the whole division going oh oh do you know what i mean <laughs> well we'll see we'll see when we deal with him 
Do you know what I mean? That's what the message is going to be. Everyone's like, oh, he says this, says that, says this. I ain't saying shit. Do you know what I mean? Well, since he want to show up there and pit this guy away in the Friday night. I'm super excited to see you back in here. Um, Obviously, Bellator is going back to Ireland uh, next month. When I would believe hit me on it, <laughs> this fuck, I'm, I'll be ready. I'll be ready. Let's go. I would love. To, I would love to see it. Yeah. I was gonna ask if you want to go in February, but if uh, it sounds like yeah, you're ready, yeah. going in both. September. <laughs> yeah, I'm sign me up. I heard they might be going to Belfast in February. How would that? Let's, yeah, let's go. Hit me on. Let's fucking go. Any of them? I don't care where I fight. I just want to fight. Do you know what I mean? Just fucking bring your man in here right now. And we'll fight. You know what I mean? I don't care. Just let me at it and let's get paid. You know what I mean? Let's fight. I'm I'm ready to go. This is my last one, and I've talked to you about this in the past. Um, you know, mentioning those those cards, you know, overseas, back home for you. I built all them cards up. <laughs> you did, you did. There's no denying that. You're here in South Dakota. You're obviously one of the most electrifying, if not the most electrifying guy on this card. When you put it all in perspective, whether it's South Dakota, Ireland, Belfast, no matter where it is, why are you the showstopper? Why do you steal the headlines? Because I'm a polarizing figure. Do you know what I mean? People don't like to admit how good I am. Do you know what I mean? And so they'll pick, they'll literally take every little tiny thing and try to make it like a flaw. Some motherfuckers, I'm flawless. <laughs> Keep trying to pick. Do you know what I mean? Keep trying it. Do you know what I mean? They've been doing it since I've been a kid. Do you know what I mean? They've been doing it. Just never give me my, you know, my credits and... Thankfully, I'm not in this to get credit from fucking nobody. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't matter what anyone thinks. If you think I'm the best in the world, if you think I'm the worst in the world, like, yeah, cool. Sorry to tell you, I don't give a fuck what you think. Do you know what I mean? And that's the, that's why. Just because it truly shines. It truly shines that I don't give a fuck. Do you know what I mean? So then they like, oh, let's, let's make him give a fuck. And then they try and pick at you, try to get a rattle out of you and all this. But it's been happening. What's how long now? I'm assigned to Bellator, about eight, eight years. They're saying the same shit. Nothing's changed. <laughs> Not one fucking thing's changed. You know what I mean? And that's that's the funny thing about it. And it's it's kind of going. Oh, he's going to be found out. It's going to be found out. Find out about what? What's already found out? It's been a consistent thing for the last eight years in this game. Do you know what I mean? And I'm a young veteran, and that's the one thing that shines to you is consistency. And I consistently. I've been in the game consistently winning fights for two losses. Do you know what I mean? And that's what that's all that matters. Do you know what I mean? I, I'm I'm consistently good. No worries. Jake. Hi, Jake. Jake. Mills. Hey, how's it going, Stranimal? It's MMA Locker Room, part of Puff Sports Radio, mate. What's up? Good, good, good. I just want to talk to you, man. Out of your 10 fights in Bellator, I mean, you finish eight of them inside the distance. That's at an 80% clip. Some fighters can't finish their lunch. You always finish in fighters in the ring. Uh, I think it's what, nine what fights. I, I think it's nine finishes. Oh, okay. Okay. You got me on that one. So we'll get out that 90% clip then. With that being said, I love to be corrected on that. Uh, yeah. All your fights usually finish, you know, inside the distance by a choke or submission. I feel like this time, you know, we might actually get a ground and pound win uh, this yes, Friday. Yes, bro. Fucking yes. I agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. And then I got I got one more other thing. Um, so right when that bell rings and they say fight, Take me into the locker room in your mind, how you switch to killer mode. And last but not least, how did it feel to see your, your man over there, Conor McGregor, you know, not able to pull it out, coaching for SBG Ireland, so you to just watch. And, you know, I know you want to go over there and help your man out, but talk to me a little bit about the Conor McGregor coaching on Ultimate Fighter and how you would love to go over there and represent for the team. Oh, yeah. I can't go to the Ultimate Fighter, bro. <laughs> I'm on their contract with Bellator. But yeah, Connor's a phenomenal coach, man. So it is. I remember years ago training with him and he used to coach the boxing classes in SBG. And people don't realize that, that the, the the details that that man has, do you know what I mean? And how he's able to uh, pass information along. He's a 
he's a phenomenal coach. I know he hasn't had the results, but it doesn't make sense. How how can you put a bunch of up and comers and against veterans and expect a positive result? You know what I mean? That's not really how this game works. You know what I mean? The experience is key. So, but but if you watch actually watch the details of the coaching. People in the game knows what's what. Do you know what I mean? And his details are absolutely unbelievable. Do you know what I mean? You actually seen what was it last week where the fella fucking uh, he face planted the guy with a big overhand right. You know what I mean? He's practicing how to pop the power into that shot. Do you know what I mean? That was a that was a good one. But yeah, man, it's it's been good. Mark, James, how you doing? It's Mark starting here at BBC Sport in Belfast. Are you all right? Doing good, mate. Doing good. Good, 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 good. James, I just wanted to get a get an idea from you, if you don't mind. Just just what it's been like in that in that time since your since your last fight. Has it has it been difficult? Has it are you able to turn it into a positive? What's what's it been like for you since then? No, nah, it a, it's a bit frustrating not being able to do my job. Do you know what I mean? Or do what I love. That's that's been the frustrating part. But the best thing about this job is that what what you do on the outside is what brings it to the table, do you know what I mean? And what, 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 what essentially what I do in the cage. So I've had a lot of time to work on that and work on the stuff that I, I have to bring to the table for my job. And so other than being able not to show that off, that's been the real frustrating part, but I've been working very, very hard. And I feel like I've uh, matured a lot as a person and as a fighter. And I'm feeling really prepared, really calm, confident, and feel like that the time off did made the world of good to really, honed on in some of the skills that I might have been left le- left out a little bit and no matter skip past past and and stuff like that. So I've had a lot of time to work on stuff that I wasn't able to work on when I was very, very active. Do you know what I mean? It's just one fight onto the next, onto the next. So it, it's been it's been nice to have that little break, but also not nice at the same time because fighting's what I love. Do you know what I mean? I just love to fight and love to be in there and love to be under the lights and love to have a go off someone. Do you know what I mean? So that that's the part that I miss. <clears throat> yeah, and, and and that that long layoff, James. I suppose, given it was it was coming after the fight. I mean, most sportsmen would tell you they want to, you know, they, they want to put that right straight away. You've you've had a bit of time to wait for that. I mean, I suppose you're ready to. You must just be ready to go straight at it, are you? One hundred percent. Because after that last one, I, I broke my hand in the first round, and uh, the doctors there were like, "Oh, you need surgery," and I was like, "No, I don't. I'm getting straight back at it." You know what I mean? And I went back training for like a month, but. I couldn't use my hands, you know what I mean? It was like a balloon. I needed surgery on my thumb. So uh, I went down and got the surgery and stuff like that. So I was kind of all these obstacles and everything that has been in my way from the injuries, the bollocks that I've had going on. It's been like a blessing for me. Do you know what I mean? So it's been like a, any adversity that I've had has been an absolute like true blessing to kind of not let me fight, but also to teach me how to grow, how to overcome these things. And how do you deal with them? And because when you're at fight week and these things, you get you get everything fired your way. So it's really taught me how to deal with that, overcome it, and uh, it's good for the head. And, and apart from a apart from a win, obviously, James. I mean, what what do you want to get out of this fight? Just showcase my skills, man. Show off my training. Show off all the hard work that I have been doing. And obviously, I'm here to fucking win. But most importantly, I'm here to display my skill set. Do you know what I mean? And once I do that, the win takes care of itself. Do you know what I mean? The show, I steal the show doing that anyway. I don't got to try to go in here to win. I don't got to try to go out here to steal the show. All I got to try and do is be the best version of myself on the night. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Just just last one for me, James. Um, obviously, it's, it's a sport that's getting more and more new fans all the time. Um, for maybe new, new fans who are new to the sport that maybe haven't seen you in action yet, can you give, could you sort of give us a give us a bit of an idea or a flavor for those who don't know of what what James Gallagher's like? Yeah, um, well, it depends who you ask. Ask if you're going to say my wine, girl. You know what I mean? You ask me, I think it was So <laughs> it depends. It depends. <laughs> um, uh, but now nah, I, I feel like that I'm a complete martial artist, and uh, I'm going to display a, a kind of fight in here with a high volume attacks with a high level defense. I don't feel I'll be touched. I'll be really elusive on the feet with heavy wrestling and heavy, heavy top pressure on the ground and batter my opponent in this submission. Good stuff. James, thanks very much. Good luck for the fight. Thanks very much. I appreciate it. Jake.
Where's this Jake fella that we've been looking for him for a while? <laughs> All right, you're good. Is that me doing? Thanks very much, boys. Appreciate it.